Hi, how are you today? This is Jilly Bling, and I have one more project to share using the Crane of Fortune bundle right here, and it's Neasel card. See how it stands up? It's very pretty. And I'll be using the Crane of Fortune bundle and Bamboo Beauty. These work really well together. The words, the fonts are very similar. And um, even these little greenery bamboo sprouts, those work, everything works really well together. We'll also be using the crane or good fortune dies. And that's more for the crane. Oh, and these little things. These are new in the catalog. These little itty bitty butterflies you see it right there and right up here what are those those are brushed brush brass okay so let's see four stamp pad succulent versamark evening evergreen clipso coral so let's get going this next one will be similar but maybe different words or something. And there's a lot of pieces to this. So if you're making this card after you cut out all of your pieces, I suggest trying to figure out where they go first. And then you could start placing them. And it's just a lot of layering. Brush bass butterflies. Say that fast. Two different sizes. A little expensive, but very pretty. The Garden Gems were part of the Eden's Garden Collection, and I bought way too many. So you could use whatever rhinestones you have, whatever you have, in place of these Garden Gems. Okay, so you can see I have the pieces laid out. I'm, I'm going to leave that for just a minute because it's put together. They're nice. This is for the crane. The crane is going to be done in Calypso Coral. Calypso Coral. And it's going to be cut out, and there's a die to cut it out, so that makes it easy. You know, I'm so lazy, sometimes I just hand cut, because then I get a perfect little edge all the way around. Okay, there it is. The die... We'll cut it out for you. Cut it out! Okay, so that's going to go right about on here. Glue dots to attach the bow. So let's put the sentiment on it. So this one says, you are so loved, which is, that's very nice. Um, but this time let's put grateful for all that you do. And that could be in evening evergreen. It's a little bit crooked. I'll try one more time. Let's see. And the dew is up a little bit high. There we go. Okay. Oh, and then on the inside, let me put this back. The inside piece with evening evergreen Oh, I don't know if that's going to fit. Well, might have to change the plan up. That doesn't fit. Maybe it fits. Ooh, that's a That's I'll try I'll try once. I think it's going to work. And it's not too crooked. Okay, so this might not be a good choice, but it worked. Oh, and then that little symbol. Oh, I meant to look that up. See this symbol right here? It means something lovely, I'm sure. 
that right down here at the corner. I know this is the right side up, but I meant to search it and look it up. I'll put it, I'll put it in the description once I find what it really is, what it means. I know it's something nice. Stampin' Up! does always something nice. Okay, so for these bamboo shoots, I'm going to do those in soft succulent. The first time I did it, I did it in ev Evening Evergreen, and it came out great, but it was a little bit distracting because the color was just as strong as Evening Evergreen is. Um, so I think the soft succulent is a little bit of a better choice. And I want some full strength and some of them um, stamped off a little bit. See, now you have room to write. <laughs> Isn't that what everyone does? You write just a little bit. Okay, so that is done. You know what I was thinking? Maybe I could put some on here, but I'll do it with the stamped off. Maybe I'll do one full strength. And then the rest. Okay, one more full strength. And then the rest could be stamped off. Not too much, just a little. Kind of like that. And then underneath the crane, can you see this up here? So full strength and stamped off like the crane is walking in the, in the grass, in the bamboo shoots. Okay, yeah, maybe one more. Stamp off. That's good. Okay, so done with that. Whew, am I done with all the stamping? Voila! Just like that. I'll put um, the paper cut sizes and all the products used on my blog. And my blog is jillybling.com. And I'll link to that too. Okay, so now for the card. Let's start assembling it. So, it's, it's pretty easy. Just a little bit of adhesive and lots of layers. And this little panel with the greeting on it, I'm going to put it on dimensionals. Just because that acts as the stand for the easel. Okay, so that's going to go right there. But I have to stick these layers down first. So I'll do that in just a minute. Now accessorize it with butterflies and rhinestones and a crane of fortune. Somehow I had to put the bow on it. The ribbon. The ribbon is really pretty. It just came in and I knew I wanted to use it. Look how pretty this is. This is satin. Soft, succulent satin. Maybe I'll tie it around. Because here I just did a regular bow, which turned out pretty, but I'm going to do something maybe a little different. Okay, so we have all these panels done. Three panels. Now, I'm just going to move these over and fold the card base. Looks like some of my paper I cut it maybe a little sideways, but it's a bit busy. I think it'll be just fine. Okay, so you fold it in half, just like regular, and then take the top flap, or at this point any flap, because you could flip it over if you do the other side, and fold that in half. Probably should have got out my score tool, which is right there, but 
this works out perfectly. Sometimes when I use my score tool, I have a little bit of a an overage. Not that I'm OCD, but I like it when it's just right. So it's going to go here. And these are going to go in here. So I'll attach these pieces. That, that paper, every sheet is just so pretty. It was hard. I knew I wanted to do this. You know, I saw this on um, Pinterest, and no person's name was attached to it, and I send the no-name person a message saying, okay, if you did this, I'd love to give you credit, but I haven't heard anything back yet. But I found it on Pinterest. Very nice. I love this layout. I love this fold. But yeah, I think I cut some of the papers. Um, they're a little bit more directional. I should have been more careful, but it's busy. I think it'll be just fine. You know, before I put this on, I might put the ribbon around this, so I will just hold off for just a minute. Probably should have had one of these done, because this part is pretty simple. You know, if this card was just done in white and gray, it'd be kind of boring. It's that paper. That paper is just so pretty. That's what makes it look so good. Okay. And I could put my crane on. So the crane is going to go on with dimensionals. Maybe a little glue. Dimensionals. And make sure, because if you try to put him on there right, you have to make sure his legs are parallel with the edges of the paper. Okay, and his legs are kind of flapping up. So, a little bit of liquid glue. I'm going to try to do a thin layer so it dries a bit fast. I don't want to have to keep there holding it down. Too lazy for that. There. That can hold it down. Maybe. Okay, so that part is good. So now, to attach this, I'm going to move this out of the way for just a minute. This is going to go right on here, and I want this amount to equal that and the sides to be equal. And I want adhesive just on the top part, not down here, otherwise it won't do the easel thing. So I'm putting a good amount of glue on there. And now this just gets centered on the card. Just like that. That might be a little crooked. Hello, Bo. He's been very restless and needy today. He comes over and sits on the, the pad in here and smiles at me. He's like, do you want to go out? No, he doesn't want to go out. So where you put the word grateful or your... Um, sentiment. If you put it down here, when you close it up, it'll be closed. And that looks kind of nice, all those layers. But if you put it back just a little bit further, 
You'll still have a bit of layering, but it'll stand up just a little bit more proud. Rather than this one, this one is in a recliner. See how he's kind of resting, laying back? Oh, but you know what? We have to save room for this piece. Okay, I'll put that on right now. So that is going to go, yeah, I guess, I guess it's going to be a recliner. That can go right here in the middle. I'm putting it purposely up a little bit high, making sure that these amounts are close. So I'll put it right there. And that goes on with dimensionals. Because you need it to be up a little bit high to hold that top, um, the crane panel. Maybe one more. So that can go right here. I'm thinking where should I put the ribbon? Because I want to tie it around. Maybe I could tuck it under and just put it into a knot. I'll try this side this time. Oh no, I don't want to get in the way of whatever that means. Maybe I could tuck it under this evergreen piece. Maybe. I want to make sure to see that little bit. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up just to make sure I can get it tucked under. Ooh, that's better. Trim up these edges. It's hard to trim the pretty ribbon. I should have cut it shorter. Okay, so now this piece is ready to go onto here. Okay, yeah, that turned out well. And the easel, that works just a little bit better, too. So now let's decorate with two butterflies. We'll do a big one and a little one. Oop, there's a mark on the paper, so the next butterfly is going to go there. <laughs> And the little one. Okay. And then a little bit of bling. So these marquee shape pieces, I thought they're very similar to the um, bamboo shoots. So that's why I thought I'll just kind of mix them down in here so it looks like they're maybe sparkly new style of bamboo shoot. Okay, so there it is, my easel crane of fortune card. So it gets mailed like that. You could write words on here. Just like that. Well, thank you for tuning in. That's all for Crane of Fortune. I know I've done five different projects. Um, 
but it's a really nice bundle. I'll have links on my blog so you can have it yourself. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Thank you.